Hi everyone, I'm Yasir Bandar from Melon Sports. So finally here we are to the ICC Men's Cricket World Cup 2023 India. Today is going to be a very important game for both uh, Sri Lanka and South African teams as this is the very first uh, proper match they're going to face today apart from the practice matches. So today I'm just planning to go through a little bit of uh, technical stuff and also the uh, team balances and also the strengths and weaknesses of both the teams and the approach and also the venue and uh, how uh, the, these two teams need to uh, focus on their future in this particular uh, tournament and also uh, before everything let me see I have a lot of faith on the South African teams uh, and especially I have this gut feeling that they are a team that they're going to be a very well balanced team that they will be uh, placing in the finals uh, this time so just keep that in mind so uh, let me go through uh, both of these squads so uh, let me start with the uh, South African squad uh, led by uh, Temba Bawama uh, Gerald uh, Cortes uh, Quinton de Kock and uh, Quinton de Kock it's uh, probably going to be his uh, very last uh, tournament as he's going to take his retirement after the uh, World Cup uh, Riza Hendricks uh, Marco Jensen Henrik Klaasen another star player uh, Keshav Maharaj, Aidan Makram, David Miller, Lunji Ngiri, uh, Adli Fulawayo, Kagisu Rabada, Tabriz Shamsi, Razivan De Duzan, excuse for the pronunciation, and also Lizard Williams. It should be Lizard, oh, okay, uh, let's see. It should be Lizard or Lizard. Uh, so that's the uh, South African camp for you, and uh, the Sri Lankan squad, uh, Sri Lanka especially need to say, Sri Lanka have a lot of question marks in front of them. Especially with their batting and also bowling, Banindu Hasaranga is not there. And also Mahesh Dikshana is also not available today uh, in a big game. So I think it's a very unfair and a very unfavorable situation today that Sri Lanka are going uh, for the 50-game uh, match uh, without Mahesh Dikshana because Mahesh Dikshana was absolutely great in, uh, during the Asia Cup. Uh, we can remember how uh, amazing he, he actually led the uh, bowling department but uh, no one can help it uh, regarding this. So uh, let me go through the uh, Sri Lankan squad uh, led by uh, Captain Dasun Shanaka, Charlie Tasalanka, Dananjay De Silva, Dushan, Hemanta, Dimut Karwaratna, Lahiru Kumara. So he's back. Uh, some good news for the Sri Lankan camp. Uh, Dilchan Madhushanka, Kusal Mendis. Uh, he is in tremendous form uh, because we simply saw how good he was at the uh, practice game. Uh, Patum Nisanka, Matisha Patirana, Kusal Janit Pereira and uh, Khasun Rajita and also uh, Sadhira Samra Vikrama, uh, Mahesh Dikshana and uh, finally with uh, Dunit Bellalage. So these are the two squads. So let me go through today's game. So uh, today's game, everything is ready and the game will be at Delhi. So uh, as per the news from Delhi, it is a very hot and humid day today. Uh, not the ideal climate but it's a very tough venue for all the players there it's hot and humid means definitely you have to have that stamina and uh, physical fitness to uh, have that resilience uh, in uh, playing in these kind of uh, conditions and also uh, may i say this ground is relatively small keep that in mind as well and this is the uh, recently named arun jetli stadium in delhi so coming uh, to uh, the stadium itself again uh, this time uh, as what we have come to know all these turfs have been prepared bat friendly so the batters are definitely going to have a very good uh, time in the middle so definitely the bowling department especially there are few eyebrows raised uh, about this Sri Lankan batting prospect because uh, if we if we go through the uh, recently concluded uh, practice game Kusal Mendes was amazing and he created a tremendous momentum but the in the latter game uh, there was definitely a 400 run in the scoreboard but definitely Sri Lankans couldn't cope up and uh, merely lost the game as well so I think uh, Sri Lankan batters need to have that batting pass with them if a, if a, a certain player is having a good day definitely the latter part or the middle order the lower middle order they have to take that carry on that momentum because in these kind of conditions definitely we need to hit the 300 mark because these are bat friendly uh, pitches and also the grounds are small so if the lines are small definitely there will be a rain of boundaries and uh, sixes so and also I need to say the Sri Lanka in the in the recent past Sri Lankans they have failed to rotate the strike so it's very important rather than going towards the glory shots uh, looking for the sixes looking for the boundaries definitely need to have that scoreboard ticking because if not if if the batters will always try to have that glory shot definitely there will be uh, a lot of dot balls so dot balls will be uh, considered as well uh, it's, it will be a serious concern so I think uh, Sri Lankan batting coach and the uh, coaching staff and also uh, the captain need to have sit down and have the proper word and uh, brief their batters definitely the batters need to uh, pull their socks and come strong and definitely they need to support each other 
and they need to carry on the momentum. Then, of course, I think if Sri Lanka can post something uh, closer to 300, I think uh, we have a fair bit of chance. But still, uh, don't forget about the, about the South African batting lineup. They are absolutely strong, especially about the captain uh, Temba Bauma. He is in tremendous form. All the batters are really formed, and also don't forget the. Uh, uh, Shams is there. There are very, very mystery spinners with the uh, South Africans as well. So, uh, batting won't be that easy for the Sri Lankan batters as well. So, uh, definitely, our bowlers, they need to stick to the basics and also need to have that attacking feel. They need to create that extra bit of pressure. They need to create that dot balls. They, create, they need to create that extra uh, flavor uh, in their field setting. And also, always, why not do the uh, unthinkable for the uh, opposition? So anyhow, there are many uh, questions raised with the Sri Lankan camp. So it's quite interesting to see how this uh, team will be selected. And also, uh, especially, uh, it was quite sad to say because like uh, South Africans, they are not that uh, comfortable against the leg spinners. So and also, uh, it's quite uh, unfortunate that Sri Lanka are not having a leg spinner with them. So uh, if we look at the recent past with the South African batters, they haven't. They have been struggling against the leg spinners. So unfortunately, Sri Lanka do not have that uh, option. But still, uh, having some uh, good plans and also having some good reading with the batters I think uh, we can manage also uh, unfortunately Mahesh Dikshane is supposed to miss the game today miss the opening game today but uh, let's hope that he recovers soon and uh, join with the uh, Sri Lankan bowling attack because definitely uh, there's a huge role a huge anchor role where uh, Mahesh Dikshane need to play with the uh, uh, Sri Lankan bowling lineup and also uh, especially I need to say about the toss as well uh, if in case we can win the toss definitely uh, Dasun Shanaka is a lucky captain and uh, he, uh, let's hope that he can win the toss. If we have a target on the board, uh, it will be a psychological relief and also the batters will have a particular target. Okay, look here, we have to chase 350 in 50 overs. So once we have a target, I think the batters can uh, organize and also they can have a basic plan and go accordingly. So uh, with all these facts, I think uh, if uh, Captain Shanaka wins the toss and also with the uh, condition, since it's very hot and humid, I think the batters will also have a relief uh, if we can bat in the evening with the uh, mild chill and also with the uh, dew factor coming in because it's a humid day. Since it's a humid day, uh, there will be the dew coming down. So it will be much more easier uh, for batting and also not taking the chance because uh, with the spinners. So with all this stuff, uh, let's uh, wish all the very best for the Sri Lankans and also uh, let's uh, wish all the very best for the South Africans as well. So let us uh, hope that we'll have a complete game because these days, same as in Sri Lanka, India also experiencing a lot of rain. So let's hope that we can uh, have a full day's game today. So signing off, Yasir Bandara from LN Sports.